West Windsor South Tennis gets started late, but they make it all count. And she may have a first name that sounds like boys, and she plays a predominantly male game, but Steinert's place kicker is in the right place at a great time. I'm Mark Fontes with Sports on this Thursday. In a series of matches originally scheduled for Wednesday, West Windsor South's always challenging girls tennis squad played host to Livingston High at Mercer County Park this morning. It was the 2011 NJSIAA Group 4 team tournament. The Lady Pirates swept the three singles matchups, placing them well in position to take the whole event. They only made it through one of the two initially scheduled doubles games, and South won that too. The Pirates beat Livingston 4 nothing in the Group 4 finals alongside the team from Princeton High, who defeated Montville. The next female athlete we're going to bring you plays a much more collision sport. It's been almost 20 years since Manon Reom took the hockey world by storm, becoming the first ever female to play in the NHL. She was the goalie for the Tampa Bay Lightning. In football, though, while the WPFL and NWFA are just some of the tackle football leagues for women here in the U.S., Barry Deptula of Steinert High has all male teammates, and they enjoy having her. The place kicker, who has been responsible for every point after touchdown the Spartans have put on the board this year, has helped her team through the first half of the season with only only one loss. And while all her sport playing life, she's been a soccer star, she is now kicking pigskin. I love doing this. I'm really thrilled with this season. Most high school girls who are multi-sport athletes don't have football on their resume. But for Steinert place kicker Barry Deptula, she went from liking the sport a little to basically living for it. I never really watched football. Like when I came, I didn't even know what a kickoff was. So... I really didn't have much experience whatsoever. She sure does now, though. With an accuracy of well over 70%, the sophomore has knocked the point after try straight through the uprights following most of the Spartans' 21 touchdowns through five games. I can't wait to go out there and make it, but there's always, like, I worry sometimes, but I just go out and I kick it, and after is the best feeling when I make it, so it's all worth it. It's also not just a matter of kicking the ball and walking away. Deptula goes to every practice with the boys. I have to do all the conditioning, the up-downs, the stretching, and all that stuff, but I'm not in the hitting drills as much. Like last year, freshman year, I had to do, because I had to get used to getting hit in case. But this year, I basically kick and do conditioning with the team. And her teammates are glad to have her. We love Barry. Barry's one of the, she's just like everybody else, she's just another teammate to us. Having Barry on this team has been absolutely amazing. I mean, you have a girl that actually walks out on the field, you know, kicks balls, you know, puts up points in front of, you know, six foot two big guys, you know. Yeah, I get the privilege of snapping for her, and uh, I just sit there, and I don't even have to think about it. I know it's always going in. The boys are clearly supportive of yeah, you. It's not. All, yeah. all of them are supportive. Yeah. I never have any issues with any of them, so it's really good coming here. Which brings up another great point. Just how did Deptula arrive on the Steinert football scene? I was just really into soccer and kicking, and then... One of my coaches were like, you should try kicking footballs. So I got with my dad and we just started practicing and then I ended up here. <laughs> and Deptula doesn't kick just for varsity. She's the go-to girl for the younger squads as well. you got to give her so much credit for what she's doing. She's walking out here. She's not afraid. She does everything that we do. When track and field season begins, Deptula will be throwing for the Spartans. And she still plays soccer, though outside school. In the meantime, her head is in the game here. Coming on board, no one really gave you a hard time about, oh, how is a girl going to do this? Not at all. It's just... I get a lot of support, like, from girls, like, field hockey comes out to see me, the girls' soccer team, like... You're excited for the rest yeah, of the way. I'm excited for this season. I hope, I really want to make it to states, and I, I think we can. I think, I really do. <laughs> In the meantime, Steinert's homecoming game is this Saturday against West Windsor Plainsboro North. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems. Whether it's building servers, designing your website, or creating custom systems, Prior NAMI is changing the way small business does business. The Ewing High Blue Devils girls soccer squad conquered Hopewell Valley Tuesday in shutout fashion. It was only Ewing's second victory on the season in girls soccer, but you would not have known that based on this contest. Nicolette Tallon and Samantha McQueen tallied goals for the Blue Devils. They forced Hoval goalkeeper Katie Goodson to make 10 saves. On the other side of the field, Ewing shot stopper Morgan Benedetti also recorded 10 saves to preserve the shutout, and that makes the Blue Devils our prior NAMI team of the day for Thursday. That's all for sports on this Thursday. Stay tuned now for Mercer County Close-Up.